We started this labor of love in 1992 with the first, the first cat we got was Cayman, who was a cougar. The next cat we got was Gabe, who was our line, and we, we got him as a baby. He was raised in the house with us. He stayed in the house probably for the first year of his life and slept on the bed with us every night, sucked my thumb. Until he was about that big. From then on, it seems like every cat we got, it was either, I guess, an ab abusive situation or maybe abandonment. The reason that we aren't public is because these cats are used to a very peaceful, quiet environment. It's been a great, great environment yeah, for Yeah, the facility is, is built for the cats and not for the public. This is Shanna, that's Tigger's mate. Shanna, baby. I wish she'd smile when she smiles. She reminds you of the Joker, that face. This is Keisha. I think she's the prettiest lioness we got. See, Casimir, he'll moan and groan at you and kind of talk to you. He's always pretty. She's, her tail's so long, she has to bend it up to walk. I mean, it's just beautiful. Well, this is Gabe, and I call him Mr. Gabe. I just think he's just a majestic male lion. He's got his own personality. I just like him. He almost talks to you. Each of these, these guys eats uh, approximately 10 pounds of meat. Uh, fortunately, we're getting most of ours donated right now. Now, I think our major expenses at this point are just the the medical and the, the uh, vitamins that we put on their food. The utilities. Utilities are outrageous. It takes a lot to maintain these cats. Food, uh, all the maintenance on the pens. Last year, we actually put a tiger through an MRI machine, and that was rather expensive. So. Well, and then we had we had a tiger, Shaley, who had skin cancer. Skin cancer. She went through rounds and rounds of chemo. We did everything possible to save her. We need volunteers. We need uh, donations to help us continue to fulfill this dream. It does hurt us that we're not open to the public because a lot of people don't, there's people in Terrell that don't even know that we're out here. Of course our dream would be to be able to expand into our back pasture and you know, have huge, huge open areas for them to, right. to run. You know, you can never do enough for them. So their, their needs will be met first, always. You know, and the money, what we do have goes, goes to their care and their enrichment. We'll do anything we have to, to you know, to, take, to save them and take care of them.